Day 78. You know, from when I was 12 years old up until last August, I worked my ass off and I created many things and did the comedy and I, and I did my events and everything. And the amount of results that I've had happen from August until now is 50 times what the results were of age 12 to August. In other words, 25 years and then in three months, it just goes, so 25 years and uh, 25 years like this and then in three months just like, I had 13,000 people following me on Facebook in August. Now I have an almost, nine, by the time this video is up, 92,000. And I don't care, I, I'm not here measuring how many followers there are. I'm just saying if, if there was a way to look at it through numbers, I had 5 million views total up until August, and now we're hitting around 40 million views. So, um, so that's literally just eight times the views than all of the work I had done until now. <laughs> And one thing that's happening is life is moving so quick now, not just August until now, but in the last three days, that I'm still acclimating to how to communicate it to you. Because I'm still acclimating to how to communicate it to myself. The things that have happened to me are so fast and they're, they're moving so quickly that everything I've ever been taught about how life works has got to dissolve to allow this to happen because there's so many times where ego comes in and goes this is this is amazing this is too crazy this is too too magical that as I talk about what happened to my close friends, um, it just looks insane. It looks insane. And the decisions that I made in August that got me to here felt crazy too. Because there was a leap that I took in August. When we did our event in August, what we had done up until the events in August was we, we often would do my events and we would also offer at the end of the event if people wanted to work with me, um, we would host these really incredible retreats. And the retreats uh, were like they'd come and work with me and seven other people and our entire team for like seven days and we'd pay for the food and lodging and everything and that would cost nine to ten thousand dollars and you know when we did our events at the beginning of last year they were 200 seat events so we do our 200 seaters and then usually we'd offer that and 10 to 20 percent of the room would want to get it so we we do these retreats and it would be you know 10 to 20 people so it would be 100 to 200 thousand dollars raised um you know that was always put back into the company or or circulated in a charity, but what we were offering was, I believe, worth way, way, way more than that. And, you know, people would get some massive life lessons and it was amazing. And then when we did this last August event, we realized, well, if we sell 10 to 20% of the room here, we will, we'll be doing retreats all year and would, would, you know, be able to make good money for the company and do what's in service. And we'd, we'd be able to we were excited. We were like, we, you know, we'd probably sell 100 to 200 people this. And when I did my event in August, um, what I was going to do was after the event, go out and, you know, it was such a phenomenal event and go meet every person, like over a thousand people, right? And go sit there and meet everybody. And something in me said to not do it. Something in me said, do not go meet the people 
because you need to learn something new. And I went through this argument with my body and my mind was like, yeah, but there's like $2 million of work here. There's impacting people. There's, you know, that money could go towards the company. It was just justifying. And my body was like, I don't want you to do this. And it, at the time it was scary as hell because it was like, shooting down the guarantee of ridiculously good money and a massive amount of work for the rest of the year and a great impact on all those people. But my soul said, I want you to leap. I want you to not do this. And I said, and I could feel the two things. When I thought about making all that money and stuff, it was in my head. And when I thought about what this calling is, it was like, trust me, I got something bigger for you. And so at the end of the event, I told my team, I'm not going out there. And my team went and attempted to go out there. And there was a thousand people that were amazing and wanted to tell their story. And these people were trying to tell their story and the team just got overwhelmed because they were exhausted. They had been working for like a month up until that event. And all these people are wanting to tell their story to them. And so my team ended up just going, we got to let's go to the back and we talked and one of my teammates said we didn't sell any of the events and I was like thinking to myself we are about to become so enormous because I was thinking even the universe whatever you want to call it didn't want me to get this done and I'm supposed to do something so much bigger and it started dawning on me that I'm not here to affect eight people in a week that might get the message and might not. I'm here to be in my space to affect millions of people a week. And that night, I found out that a lot of people were like, I want to meet Kyle, I want to meet Kyle after the event. And and the team was like, he's not coming out. And some people said, well, that really makes me mad. I want to meet him. And then I went home and um, I got like 800 emails from people there that all had a very strong, almost all of them incredibly positive, but like very strong opinion. Like, you changed my life. You did this amazing thing. And I was like, you changed it. You showed up. You're leaping. I'm just handing you tools. That's so important to me when people say to me, this changed my life or whatever. I'm like, you did. You're There's people that aren't watching this. You're choosing to watch these things and you're the factor more than I am. And so I got email after email of people obsessively being thankful, which is very nice, but it was a lot. It was a lot to take in because I felt expectations with that, like all this, I got to respond to all these and I want to, but there was an overwhelm. And, and then I would hear about the people that were like, I want to meet Kyle and were mad that I didn't come out. And I realized there's a lot of people that have opinions of me right now that are very strong and it bothers me a little bit. So the day after the event, I noticed, why does it bother me? Because there's a part of me that still wants to get love a certain way and wants to feel connected. And I need to connect with myself more on a level that can match and, and make this pain dissolve. So I need to let go of even more of the childhood me. And I need to let go more of the part of me that needs the love to be a certain way or and the part of me that you know, obviously if I care what these 800 people are saying, I'm going to have a hard time hitting, you know, my real service to the world and hitting Oprah level stuff, right? Like just doing really big things. So I, the day after the August event, I sat in the house and cried for hours. And I felt like I was crying, letting go of the childhood me a lot more, the part of me that needs that love. And as I cried, I felt an iceberg of pain just break off of me and float away. And it was suddenly this dude that just was like, if we had done those retreats all year, I'd be at those retreats every day and not be able to actually tap into my deepest creativity. I don't care if it was a hundred million dollars. That's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to tap into my deepest creativity. So then I called my assistant, Dan, and I told him to come out and come come make a video with me. And Dan came out and we made the trailer from the August event that you see, the Evolving Out Loud trailer, the video of me in the theater and stuff. And that trailer 
got 1.5 million views immediately and started selling tickets to the next event immediately. When that trailer came out, uh, we noticed that on Facebook it had many, many more views than on YouTube. So we thought, whoa, Facebook's faster than YouTube. So what if we take my videos that are already on YouTube and we just put them on Facebook? So we took the video that people know as why people's opinions of you aren't real and we just put it on Facebook on September 4th and it got 23 million views and it sold out the um, event in January like that. We didn't have to do any effort. It just sold it out. 1,400 seats. Done. My Facebook following started skyrocketing and it felt like it was matching my alignment of willingness to be able to receive that. So I needed to clear out this part of me that cared about what people thought of me and then once it was cleared out I was in more alignment to handle a massive amount of response and because now we get hundreds of emails every day and it's it's wonderful but it would have overwhelmed me in August so the universe didn't hand that to me because I wasn't emotionally ready for it and I didn't put I wasn't ready to put out for the universe that it was like no keep it safe let's just do retreats for eight people and have the guaranteed money and not quite live on this edge so I let go of that and now the success that has come in in the last three months has been unbelievable it has been the most extreme insane experience but it also hasn't been that weird because as I connect to myself it's normal for that to happen so then the, 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 we were offered so many things, including getting the biggest agency in the world uh, is suddenly booking us for personal appearances and they got us on Broadway we're, or, or in the heart of Broadway. It's actually off Broadway, but we got that. Like that was like, I've been with them for like a week of working days and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. And um, we're talking to different big things about there's three different TV shows in the works right now um, and there's a book on the way and uh, I'll tell you the specifics as that shows up too all of this has happened since August since I trusted that feeling and leapt and now since January 1st there's a new story that's happening for me that's like if if it was like this till August until this um, January 1st is like, and I'm going to tell you that story as it develops this week, but the amount of things and the amount of things that I'm learning about myself and everything, this world is yours if you listen to that calling. If you are in something you don't want to be in and you are ready and you decide to leave you will not only be fine but your life will be better if you're with something you don't want to be in you're saying you don't trust that you're safe and when you say to yourself you don't trust that you're safe the universe responds or yourself responds with protecting you you respond with fear and protection, which doesn't protect you at all. And the universe responds with making sure you're not safe. If you're in a situation you don't want to be in and you want to leave, know that it's fine and it will do the world a great service for you to listen to that calling. Because I promise you, there is something waiting on the other side that so will be defined after you leave the thing you don't want and you will realize it had been what you've been asking for your entire life. Day 78.